Well, water we know is at the center of a criminal investigation tonight after a piece of infrastructure used to divert water from the mountains to the metro area was damaged. City of North Glen operates that system and says the cost will be significant. And it's not the first time that something like this has happened to North Glen. We reported on a similar case involving significant damage in August of 2019. Karen Morfitt live in North Glen for us tonight. And Karen, the good news is that customers will not be impacted by this. Well, Karen, the city here can monitor the operations of the water coming out of the mountains from right here in the city. They were noticing that the flow of water coming down into the metro area wasn't where it needed to be, which allowed them to act quickly and limit their loss as well as the impact to customers. While the water in North Glen seems plentiful, every drop counts. The two days that's gone is just gone. Diana Wilson, a spokesperson for the city, says that's how long before their team noticed the water they were supposed to be seeing coming from Berthoud Pass wasn't where it should be. A trip into the mountains and they found gates that controlled the flow had been damaged. Somebody was actually removing part of the mechanisms to make it open and close. Um, and hard not to imagine that wasn't purposefully done when it was on all four of them. The repairs will cost roughly $50,000, a drop in the bucket, though, compared to the value of the water that was lost. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not million, and so to us, very precious. And with that number comes a serious criminal offense. It's a theft in addition to the vandalism or criminal mischief issues that occurred up there on the pass. Grand County Sheriff Brett Trollin says they're investigating what happened while still working a similar case in the same area from 2019. At that time, eco-terrorism was considered a possible motive and could be again. The focus was obviously diverting water one way versus the other. While Wilson says the loss will not impact customers in the way of water restrictions, it does end up costing them. Making sure that we get our share of our water that we have purchased is a big deal to our community. Now, North Glen says they are looking at what other possible security measures they can put into place to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And as far as that investigation goes, the Grand County Sheriff says the public is going to be key in solving this case, and they're asking anyone with information to come forward. For now, we're live in North Glen. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. All right, Karen.